Hey guys, what's up? This is JRP77 from JGN Games, and today we are going to be modeling the flag you see right now in Blender, so stick around. I've used tons and tons of assets from the Unity Asset Store over the past couple years, but my favorite of them all has to be Playmaker. This asset provides a way for anyone to get into developing games without having to learn a coding language whatsoever. I highly recommend this asset to all game developers and it's currently on sale right now. Click the link in the description to learn more. In this tutorial, we will be making the flag that was shown in the intro. I was patriotically inspired to make an American flag, but this should work with any design whatsoever. With the election finally being over, I was compelled to make something close to the hearts of Americans everywhere, something to console them after their candidate lost the election, which is why we will be making an American flag in this tutorial. Also, I think I fixed my mic problems and the quality should be much higher than before. Here's a comparison. Hey Paul, Uncle here, today we it's been long enough without a Blender tutorial, so let's jump right in. Open up Blender and delete all of the objects in the scene. We will be incorporating the use of the Import Planes as Images add-on to make sure our images map properly to our object. To enable this add-on, go to File and select User Preferences. Then go to Add-ons and search for Images to find the add-on. Now jump back into your project and hit Shift A and go to Mesh and select Images as Planes. I'm going to be using an American flag because I am extremely patriotic as shown by this intro. I'll scale up the plane by hitting S so that it looks better when we do the physics, and I'll also rotate it on the Y axis 90 degrees by hitting the R key, then Y, then 90 degrees. Next, well, let's make the flagpole. Hit Shift A and add a cylinder. We're going to scale this cylinder down by hitting S and then dragging your mouse towards the object. Hit Return or Enter and then scale on the Z axis by hitting S, then Z, and then dragging up until you hit the flag. You'll also subdivide the flag three times to make the physics more realistic. Hit tab and then hit A until the model is completely orange. Then press the subdivide button on the left toolbar three times to add more vertices to the objects. This will make the flag react more realistically as to a real life flag. Before we conclude the modeling, we need to pin the flag. We don't want the flag falling off the flagpole, so we will be creating a vertex group to hold the flag at these two points. Hit A to deselect all of the vertices and right click at the top corner and the bottom corner on the left side to select these vertices. Now expand your properties toolbar and then click on the tab that looks like a triangle. Click the plus button next to the vertex group drop down and name it corner. Be sure to hit the assign button underneath the drop down to assign the vertices and to make sure that this works, hit deselect and then select to make sure that your vertices have been added. Now that we have finished the basic modeling, let's jump into the physics. In your properties toolbar, let's click on the tab that looks like a ball bouncing. Then select cloth from your list of options. I'm going to leave all these options at the default values for the sake of this tutorial, but feel free to play around with these to suit your needs. The only thing we need to do in here is to check pinning and select the corner vertex group in the box below. In order for this to work properly, make sure cloth collisions is checked and then open up that drop down and check self collision. This will make the flag collide with itself to add even more realism. Finally, let's add in a wind source to make our flag flap in the wind. Hit shift A, then go to force field and add a wind object. Select the object and set the force to 75 and position the object right behind the flag. Don't forget to rotate it 90 degrees on the Y axis to make the wind blow the right direction. Now that this is complete, let's make sure we can watch this. Select the flag and then go to Cloth Cache. Click Bake to pre-render the effect so that it doesn't lag on our computer whenever we watch the animation. Once this is done, hit Alt A to play your animation. If you've done all correctly, the flag should blow in the wind. We're almost done, but in order for this to look right when we render this in the next tutorial, go to your modifiers tab and add a solidify and a subsurf modifier. Make sure it's in that order or else this will not look right. Leave all the values the same because we're not going to be doing anything too complex, but this should conclude the tutorial on how to make a flag in Blender. In the next one we're going to be talking about video editing and rendering in Blender, so that's going to be a definitely a fun one. I'm so excited to get away from game development for once and actually look into video editing inside of Blender. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you guys got something out of this video. If this tutorial sucks, you know what to do, but if it didn't, drop a like and maybe subscribe so you don't miss another tutorial. Don't forget to check out our website, social media, and merch, all of those links will be in the description below. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys next time.